What's going on you guys? So check it right. With Shane Eagle set to drop his third studio album Akira, he dropped a new single off the album titled Shiru's Interlude. And man, did he address some things on there? Now he first he spoke on how he sees the criticism he has been receiving because of Green not being received well. But he also recognizes that he's still him and people are still anticipating more work from him. And he makes mention of this with the following lines. If you zing on ego, I hope you get sleep paralysis. I'm counting up so many blue faces, I'm getting calluses. And he also says, y'all just trying to have a different opinion, even when you know who the goat is. So Shane sees the criticism, but it's clearly not phasing him. Now he also makes mention of his dad passing and how through the pain of losing him, he's managed to overcome it and is still winning. And he conveys this when he says, they call me young ego, my father named me Hughes. Keys to his kingdom, you couldn't walk on my shoes. Funny how before we win something, we gotta lose. Now with the next lines we're about to get into, while my analysis might be a bit shaky, so if you guys do say I am reaching, I will understand. But anyways, Shane goes on to say, The art of war makes enemies call it truce. Nobody's safe when young eagle is on the loose. Jesus owns my soul, don't play with no rap diablos. This is how I art you niggas is fake Picassos. They guide me from the spiritual, I barely miss a three. Turned their back on me and ended up missing me. Now when I heard those lines I couldn't help but think of DJ Clan and his album Viral. Now according to Jay Jody, Shane was supposed to be on the Viral intro but for whatever reason he wasn't. And he actually gave him a shout out on the track when he says and that's how division goes again wish them well do like Shane and just let it flow. Now Shane and Clan are from the same hood being Robbie Ridge and Clan has always shown love to Shane for the past couple of years so in terms of their relationship and that's even if they have one well it seems like it's only about love and appreciation but with that said this is hip-hop and it can be competitive at times and we saw this last year when it seemingly looked like Shane was taking shots at Reese on his track Street Fighter from Green where he had lines like I just checked the stats we pound for pound just check the stats we John for John he also said somebody tell them boys they need me in one of their songs and he also said you let the beat breathe, do you wrong? Don't need a platinum plaque to say I'm gone. I got the babe on me, that means young eagle just went Kong. They're none of my friends, I can't make amends. Now the crazy thing is that we had Jay Jody seemingly respond to those lines when he said, quit capping like the moon landing, stick to your branding. I got the loudest chanting, look at how the boy's charting. Look at me now, we something. We can go pound for pound, my nigga, but look at the board. We crushing, you fronting. Now in the track, Reese actually makes mention of Jody being his shooter and that rappers should reconsider coming after him since Jody has got his back, which he displayed with the lines directed towards Shane. Now because of this, I can imagine why Shane might have been reluctant to be featured on the track with Jody, despite Clint having so much love and appreciation for him. I mean, it went from them coming for him on a record and turning their backs on him, which Shane claims to them needing him for a feature and actually missing him because he ended up not being on the record. So with the RCR guys actually asking him to be featured on a track, while Shane sees it as them asking for a truce because he viewed this back and forth as war, but that's clearly not the case anymore. But putting the beef shit aside, Shane also shares some uplifting words for his listeners, especially the ones that are dealing with losses in their lives, when he says, So Lord, I pray this instrumental touches souls. Please make them feel whole again. This world can be so cold. And please bless the eagle and protect Dwayne Carter, our sons and all our daughters and mothers. And all my niggas that's pushing it without their fathers, I pray you bless them too. It feels like it can't get harder, I know. Salute your mother, I love her like she's mine. She basically raised me through you. I pray that she's doing fine. So some really nice words from Shane and yes, protect Lil Wayne at all costs. Definitely a legend and a pioneer in the game. Now with that said, overall, the track is really good. I mean, Shane stuck to his usual sound, but the production on this one was really dope. I mean, for a second there, it gave me that ATM and Charlotte feel by Drake with those samples. So I found that to be a nice touch. Now, even though this is something we would usually expect from Shane, the track is still good nonetheless, and it does have me anticipating the album once it drops on the 11th. But with that said, you guys let me know your thoughts on this. Did you enjoy Shiru's interlude by Shane Eagle or not? Comment down below. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed. 
please make sure to hit that like button if you found the content dope and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already it's on to the next one peace